How's it going everyone and welcome to the Empire. Yesterday night we got an awesome trailer for The Mandalorian Season 3 and it's roughly about a month away now. I'm excited and I hope you are too, especially after seeing the trailer because we got some really cool stuff. And yes, I'm talking about the Order 66 flashbacks, but that's not all. This season will have a lot of focus on the Mandalorians as a whole and I'm excited to see what more we learn about them. Starting the trailer off with Mando talking about the Mandalorians all scattered, meaning you have the various different factions. Your traditional Mandalorians who take their helmets off, and then the more cultist Mandalorians who have the rule to never remove their helmets. We see some Mandalorians from Clan Eldar, who were a clan that was a part of the Mandalorians resistance and pledged themselves to Bo-Katan. We've seen them before in Star Wars Rebels and now we get to see them again in live action which is pretty cool. Then we get a glimpse of some of the Night Owls, who were female Mandalorians led by Bo-Katan. Just like the rest of the Mandalorians, the Night Owls also split apart at one point when Darth Maul killed Pre Vizsla. They each took a side, some with Bo-Katan and some with Darth Maul. Which I hope during this season we'll get to see some of Darth Maul's Mandalorians or even maybe a horned helmet from the Siege of Mandalore. I think Din is going to use the Darksaber to bring together as many Mandalorians as he can, most likely to fight against Moff Gideon and the remnants of the Empire. We get to see the Naboo Starfighter again, ripped to the Razor Crest, but this is still awesome as well. Then Din and Grogu show up on Navarro. We see a Kawaki and Monkey Lizard as ugly as ever. We also get to see Grief Cargo meet up with Din again. He could be there to get information on some other Mandalorians and maybe figure out where to start his search. While they meet up, we get a glimpse of this cool statue which looks like it's honoring IG-11 and his sacrifice so that's pretty cool to see too. We get a look at the armorer again, and then we see the destruction of Mandalore, which was caused by the Empire during the Great Purge of Mandalore, when they went there and wiped out tons of Mandalorians which led to the survivors going into hiding. We get to see R5 again, great callback to A New Hope when he almost ends up with Luke Skywalker. Then it looks like we'll be seeing Coruscant again and Dr. Pershing, who was one of the clone engineers that we saw in Season 1. We get a really cool shot of Order 66 and we have 4 Jedi who look like they're going to be protecting Grogu or coming to save him. He might be what's behind the door, but most likely we'll see some 501st clones again or even Anakin Skywalker himself. That would be awesome seeing Hayden again. There's a scene where Din is in a cantina full of droids. We see some astromechs and even some B1 battle droids who are probably reprogrammed like the ones we saw in the recent Bad Batch episode 3. Here we see Death Watch attacking Navarro, maybe they're looking for Din so they can take the Darksaber from him. It also looks like they destroyed the statue we saw at the beginning of the trailer. And finally we end with a cool little sequence where Grogu gets to use some force abilities. He's been learning ever since season 1 and he learned more with Luke in the book of Boba Fett. Then it ends there. I'm super excited for the season and I'm sure you are all as well. I think it's going to be great and I'm extremely excited that we're finally focusing on the Mandalorians as a whole. I've been wanting to see that since the first season, so I'm glad we'll get that. I'm also excited to learn more about what happens with Grogu and how he actually ended up surviving Order 66. Maybe it'll even be Mace Windu just to throw out a crazy theory. But let me know down below who you think saves Grogu or what you're most looking forward to this season. I'll catch you all in the next one and may the force be with you my friends. The force is with you.